Anyway, Reefers, I'm Daniel from Coralust, and this is a little update on the T5 versus LED lighting. Um, I've been wanting to get to this video for a while, but I'm so swamped. But this is just a quick update, so I'll do a more in-depth one later on and show you some pictures of the corals and how they grew differently under the different lighting. So, since I put up these T5s, I had to add an LED strip. Now, this strip that's going down is a four-foot bluetinic strip, and it's the same kind that I have over this tank. And I have a couple on at the moment, and you can see these things. These things work fabulous for growing corals. They're always happy, nothing's getting burned. They're not too intense, but they're strong enough to give the corals a good color. So, this tank on the bottom still has the Reef Breeders LEDs, and I noticed I can't really live without LEDs. The T5s is clean light as they are, and is non, I guess, offensive as they are to the tissues of the corals, um, unlike the radions that would burn a hole right through your colony of zoanthids. So, I must say, okay, I, the color that you get with the LEDs is why I'm in love, but the ease of the T5. So I'm doing a combo unit, and I'll probably do that over most of my units, um, just given one T5 on each side. I don't think I need this many, but I am gonna supplement with probably just two of the T5s over that whole display tank. So I love the Radions, and you can't beat them for looking at your corals and the colors. They're just fantastic. Even these old the Chinese LEDs, everybody talks about them because they work so well for the price. I actually seen the price on those start to go back up. It's funny, supply and demand, those old ship boxes as some people call them, are still growing corals better than some of these high dollar fixtures. So just to give you a little more specific and give you guys some info, the T5s really did a great job as far as the health of the corals, but eventually they just reached their max peak and they don't really, they don't give you that extra color that you get with the LEDs. So that being said, anyone who loves, is in this hobby for the colors and they're collecting and you're paying the price for an exotic coral, then you definitely want the LEDs to get your money's worth. But if you're just starting off and you don't know how much you like this hobby and you're just getting into it and you don't want to spend $500 on a coral or something, you know, then by all means, go with what's affordable. You can't beat the price on this and it even came with bulbs. This is one of those Amazon, eBay specials. So, I mean, you can even get them used on Craigslist. Anything to get you started in the hobby and then you can always move up later on. Um, these are Kessels. I was testing them out for taking pictures. So I um, put these corals in the, this tub. This is a concrete mixing tub for anybody who wants to know. I got it at Lowe's. Um, but yeah, I just testing out different things. Now this is a matte finish. The bottom actually reflects some light on here. So it's not, uh, not the best thing for taking lights in, or pictures, because the lights reflect. But, but these are Kessels. Very strong, nice spread. If you like ripples and shimmer in your tank, these are definitely, definitely the lights for you. So, so feel free to comment. Thanks for watching, and as always, happy reefing. I'll see you guys in the next one.